In this video, I will describe the operation of a monostable multivibrator circuit. A monostable multivibrator circuit has only one stable state and one temporary quasi stable state, and the level transition depends on the external triggering pulse. This multivibrator is also known as one short multivibrator. Now, let's say this is a monostable multivibrator circuit. A monostable multivibrator circuit will use two transistors Q1 and q2 the word mono means single that means the monostable multivibrator will have single stable state depending upon the transistor across which we are taking the output if i take the output across the transistor q1 then plus vcc will be its stable state and if i if i take the output across transistor q2 then zero will be its stable state in my circuit analysis i will take the output across the transistor q2 therefore i will from now on i will proceed with the transistor q2 now if i take the transistor if i take the output across the transistor q2 zero will be its stable state and it will remain at this level unless we apply a triggering pulse t1 when we apply this triggering pulse, this external triggering pulse, the output will go from 0 to plus VCC or from 0 to logic 1 and it will remain this level at this level plus VCC uh, as long as the pulse T1 is applied. After that, it will automatically come from 1 to logic 0 and it will stay at this level unless we apply another triggering pulse so this zero will be its stable state and temporarily see it seems that this one is also its stable state due, due to the application of this pulse t1 but that's what but this is not its stable state Th therefore it is known as quasi stable state and this is called called co temporary quasi and this is called temporary quasi stable state because it will remain at this level during the application of the pulse once the pulse come from maximum to zero the output will again switch back to one to zero now this is also known as one shot multivibrator because here we will apply a single triggering pulse to control the operation of this monostable multivibrator circuit the operation of a multivibrator circuit will be totally dependent upon the switching property of a bipolar junction transistor. If when the bipolar tr junction tran transistor acts as a switch, it will have two states, on state and off state. A bipolar junction transistor is said to be in on state if I supply a positive voltage of plus VCC at the collector terminal when the input voltage VI is less than 0 0.7 volt this transistor will be in off state when the transistor is in off state the collector and emitter terminal gets disconnected from the circuit therefore this transistor will act as a open switch therefore the collector current ic will be equal to zero as the collector current becomes zero the voltage difference between the collector and emitter terminal vce will be equal to plus VCC so when the transistor is in off state I can summarize it our collector and emitter terminal will get opened and the collector current IC will be equal to 0 and the collector to emitter voltage VCE will be equal to plus VCC now if I apply an input voltage V base to emitter voltage VI greater than 0 0.7 volt our transistor will be in on state or in saturation mode when the transistor is in on state the collector and emitter terminal will get shorted as the collector and emitter terminal gets shorted therefore the voltage between the collector and emitter terminal will be equal to zero volt because we are taking the output volt we are taking this vce across a short circuit uh, and the current that is flowing in the in the through the collector terminal will be ic set saturation current so i can summarize this property when the transistor is in on state our collector and emitter terminal will get shorted and 
I collector current will be equal to I C set and V C E collector to emitter voltage will be equal to zero volt. Now let me describe the operation of this monostable multivibrator circuit. See here we have used two transistors Q1 and Q2 and I am taking the output across the collector and emitter terminal of the transistor Q2 therefore this will be our V out or output voltage. See the collector load of the transistor Q1 is RL1 and the collector load of transistor Q2 is RL2 and you will see that the collector of the transistor Q1 is connected with the base of the transistor Q2 through a capacitor C1 and you will see that the base of the transistor Q1 is connected with the collector of the transistor Q2 with the resistor R1 okay and you will see that I can apply a triggering pulse at the base terminal of the transistor Q1 through the capacitor C2. Now let me describe the operation of this circuit. I will take the output across this terminal and this terminal with the VBB connected. You will see that the negative terminal of this VBB is connected with the P type base and the positive terminal of this VBB is connected with the N type emitter. Therefore, initially the base to emitter junction of the transistor Q1 will be in reverse bias. As the base to emitter junction is not forward bias in case of this transistor Q1, therefore the transistor Q1 will be in off state. Therefore, I can dis disconnect the collector and emitter terminal of this transistor from our original circuit as it is in off state or in cut off mode. Okay. Now, if I supply this VCC voltage by closing the switch S here, you will see that as the transistor Q1 is in off state, therefore the collector current IC1 of this transistor will be equal to 0. Therefore, the voltage drop IC1 RL1 across this resistor will be equal to 0. That's why as there is no voltage drop from this point to this point you see that this VCC will be appeared across this collector ter to emitter terminal of the transistor Q1 that means initially this VCC will be the stable state of the transistor Q1 or the output of the transistor Q1 will be stable at logic 1 now you will see that this VCC is applied between this point to this point and you will see that the R2 and the base emitter junction of the transistor Q2 is in series that means the portion of voltage that is dropped across this base to emitter junction of the transistor Q2 will drive the base to emitter junction of the transistor Q2 in forward bias therefore now our transistor Q2 will be in on state as the transistor Q2 is in on state therefore its collector and emitter terminal will get shorted and we are taking the output across this terminal and this terminal so our output voltage V out will be equal to 0 volt and this is equal to logic 0 and this 0 volt is the stable state of the transistor Q2 of the for this circuit that means the output voltage of the transistor Q1 will be at logic 1 and the output voltage of the transistor Q2 will be at logic 0 and this one is stable state for this transistor Q1 and, and this 0 volt is the stable state for the transistor Q2. The output is stable at this 0 level. What does it mean? It means that if I keep the circuit intact and does not apply any external triggering pulse, the output voltage of the multivibrator that means I have taken the output across this terminal and this terminal will be stay at this 0 volt forever if I supply this VCC in this circuit that's why this 0 is called the absolute stable state for this circuit now let's say when the output of this multivibrator is stable at this 0 volt at that instant I have applied a positive going pulse at the base base terminal of the transistor Q1 what is a voltage pulse see a positive going pulse is that it will have a voltage of Vs for a brief interval of time 0 to Tp 
and this positive going pulse is sufficient to override the effect of this VBB that means it will drive the base to emitter junction of the transistor Q1 in forward bias so when the base to emitter junction of the transistor Q1 is in forward bias that means it will be in on state when the transistor Q1 is in on state its collector to emitter terminal will get shorted therefore the saturation current will flow through the collector terminal of the transistor Q1 as the collector and emitter terminal gets shorted there that means there is a short path between this collector to ground terminal of the transistor Q1 now our VC1 will be equal to 0 volt that means this will come to at logic 0 see as the voltage difference between this terminal and this terminal is reduced to 0 volt 0 volt that means the voltage difference between this point and this point is equal to 0 volt that means this 0 volt will be applied at the series connection of the capacitor C1 and to end to base to emitter junction of the transistor Q2 as the voltage between this terminal and this terminal is 0 therefore the voltage between this terminal and this terminal will be equal to 0 as long as the input pulse is applied that means the transistor Q2 will now will not be in on state because it is it will not get sufficient voltage to drive the base to emitter junction in forward bias therefore it will now turns to be in off state therefore I can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal from our original circuit therefore the collector current IC2 will be equal to 0 therefore the voltage drop IC2 RL2 will be equal to 0 that means the voltage we are applying VCC between this terminal and this terminal will be appeared across this collector to emitter ground terminal of the transistor Q2 therefore our output voltage will now equal to VCC or at logic 1C previously without this input pulse our output was stable or it was staying at this zero level at the instant we are applying this triggering pulse our output voltage will have a transition from this zero to one volt so when the transistor Q2 is in off state a charging current will flow to charge the capacitor C1 and the capacitor will store that charge as a voltage of VC1 the charging current will flow through this path A B let's say this is C and this is D and the as the current will flow in this direction therefore this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and you will see that this positive terminal is connected with the base terminal of the transistor Q2 and this negative terminal C this is a short path will be connected with the emitter terminal of the transistor Q2 we have applied a input pulse of brief interval and it has a high amplitude after a short time the out input pulse will come from its maximum value to this 0 volt as the input pulse has come to this 0 volt now our capacitor C1 starts discharging through this path R2 VCC and the short path R2 VCC and the short path of the transistor Q1 therefore that voltage will be applied between the base to emitter junction of the transistor Q2 as the capacitor starts discharging and it when its voltage grad will be greater than 0.7 volt that voltage will drive the base to emitter junction of the transistor Q2 in forward bias therefore now our transistor Q2 will be in on state when the transistor Q2 will be in on state due to the stored charge of the capacitor C1 therefore our collector and emitter terminal will now again gets shorted therefore our output voltage will ha have a transition from this VCC to this 0 volt and you will see that as the output voltage will be reduced from VCC to 0 volt that 0 volt that means the voltage difference between this point and this point will be equal to 0 volt and that 0 volt that 0 volt will be applied between this terminal and this terminal and this is the emitter terminal of the transistor Q1 and you will see that this 0 volt will be applied between the series connection of the R1 and to base to emitter junction of the transistor Q1 that means the voltage difference between this terminal and this terminal will be less than 0 0.7 volt therefore our base to emitter junction of the transistor Q1 now will not be in forward bias therefore it will now will be in off 
state therefore i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal of the transistor q1 and the voltage between this terminal and this terminal that is vc1 will have a transition from this zero volt to this one volt and this is the complete operation of that monostable multivibrator circuit and in the output you will see that whatever the condition of the circuit our output will again come from this vcc to this zero volt because it is the only stable state for this circuit only stable state that means the output voltage will retain its value at zero volt whatever the condition of the circuit as this zero volt is its stable state that means between zero and one only one of the state is its stable state that is why it is known as mono stable multivibrator and you will see that for the transition from one level to another i have applied only a single triggering pulse uh, that's why it is known as one short multi vibrator okay that's it thank you